Today we're going to remove the Alco spare wheel carrier and fit the spare tyre to it. Um, we're going to struggle to push it back in and put it back in. We're not going to jack the caravan up, uh, we're going to try and do it on the, on the ground. So first thing that we're going to do is lower the front of the caravan on the jockey wheel as low as we possibly can. So that's where we're going to go. Okay. Cool. So we've lowered the caravan on the jockey wheel. We could probably go a little bit further, but hopefully that's going to be enough. Next thing we're going to do is remove the locking nut from the spare wheel carrier. We've got a little pin that goes through first to remove the pin. A little locking up comes off. And the carrier now will just slide out. And it's important at the time to actually lubricate the the bars on the on the carry because that will make it a little bit easier uh, for next time that we remove the carrier uh, and also when we put it back on it's going to make it just that little bit easier also this should be done on your service so when you have the caravan serviced they should actually lubricate the two bars here um, and that should be done within your service um, we didn't service this last year so we're going to just lubricate it now while we put the put the spare wheel back on the customers had a, a puncture in one of the tires he's put his spare wheel on uh, and we're now just going to put it back on the carrier as uh, he was unsure how to do it so uh, as I say first thing I'm going to lubricate those up we'll then remove the locking nuts from the actual carrier itself, align the, the spare tyre onto there and then you're going to see how much of a pain it is to actually push the carrier back into position and get it back into place. So we're now just going to use uh, some WD-40 uh, and just spray this liberally onto the, the rails. Uh, now what you want to make sure is that wherever you're doing this that you'll be able to clean the ground afterwards uh, and it is just a little bit easier probably from the from the opposite side to do it um, but just a good spraying up you can use a little bit of um, grease on a on a brush if you if you're not in an area that you can't actually let the WD go onto the ground um, but we'll we'll clear the ground up afterwards so it's not uh, it's not a big, big issue so we've lubricated the runners up and what we're going to do now is we're just going to push the the carrier and out just as it is just to literally and um, just make sure that it's 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 moving as free as possible So we've got the carrier moving fairly free, so we're now just going to push it over to the side as far as possible. We're going to remove the lock nuts, again we'll lubricate the threads that these run on also just to make sure that they're moving and they're going to release off next time and we're going to slide the spare wheel under and this is where the sun now starts so we need to go in upside down if we look to the just pop it into position and then we can just slide, slide the carrier to the wheel And then what we're looking for is to get the one bolt through the centre and the other bolt then 
through one of the uh, one of the wheel stud holes. So again, it is tight to actually see. Can you see on the camera? Yeah. So we've located into the middle and through one of the holes. So we're now going to put. We'll start with the the wheel bolt first. Which again, we're just going to do hand tight to begin with. I'm going to put it on the right way around as well. I've put it on upside down there. I'm really just going to go just past hand tight and then go for the middle bar. And again, removing this would be exactly the same. It's a lot easier to take the spare wheels off than it is to put them back on. Um, just literally the, the pushing it back into position in a second, as you'll see, is just a little bit uh, a little bit tougher. So we're just going to go down as far as we can. Again, don't really want to go too tight, but obviously we need it tight enough that it's not going to come off and then we have got a little lock enough as well for this one and we've got a little spacer as well on this one so we're going to drop our little spacer on first and then our locking nut just going to give it a quick check then so we've got down to the the locked part of the thread and we're just going to physically move, try and move the tyre and just make sure that there's no play in that. And we're now going to try and get it back in. And the easiest way, or the best way, is to come back as straight as possible and then a bit of a jiggle, come back a little bit further, a bit more of a jiggle, come back further, a little bit more of a jiggle, and we're getting somewhere close now to be able to put this back in. Again, lifts up and just slides in. Uh, and again, because we've lubricated that, it's actually worked out an awful lot easier than, than it normally would. Um, so uh, that didn't go as badly as I actually thought it was going to. Final things then, lock nut on. Again, just not overly, overly tight, but tight enough. And then the little pin just locks that into situation there, so that, that can't come undone. Give it a bit of a, a manoeuvre, just to make sure. Again, it's worth just checking uh, the little bushes on the other side, just to make sure that, as we've been pulling it around, that they're all still in location properly. So we'll show you those on this other side. So again, we just check that all the bushes here are in properly, the cotter pins are in correctly, um, and that's all looking good. And we're back into position. If uh, if you come to remove it, it's literally the exact opposite to what we've just done. Um, sometimes, if, if they've not been removed for a while, uh, you may find that you've got to give it a real good soaking up with WD-40 first, and then just try and release things. Um, if you keep on top of it, again, it's worth making sure that when they service the caravan that they, they lubricate the arms on the on the carrier and also that they remove the, the locking nuts from uh, holding the tyre into position and, and lubricate that. Um, if you've not had your caravan service for some time, just give that a check. Give it a good soaking up with WD, um, WD-40. Leave it for a day maybe. Give it another soaking up if it's if it's struggling to get it off there and they will free up. Uh, hopefully if you've got to replace a spare wheel this this will make life a little bit easier for you. Um, but touch wood if you keep an eye on your tyres we've got another video with 
how to check the date on your tyres and looking for cracks on your sidewalls. I think in our tips, our caravan tips video, you'll find all that information and also how to do your tyre pressures. So um, just make sure again if, if you've not had your van service for a while, it's a good a good check to do that is. So uh, thanks for watching. Are you ready? Should we do it down low to begin with? As well, so you can see me and the spare wheel carrier. Go on then, bar on the floor. Get down there. Get on the floor. You got me? Yeah. Alco Underslung Spare Wheel Carrier. Today we're refitting a spare tyre uh, for a customer. We're going to start, start, start again. I don't like the way you just go Alco. Such, such. It just sounds really impersonal. Just say, this is showing you about the Alco. Like make it into it uh, more of a okay. sentence. You just sound a bit. It oh, just yeah, sounds well, a bit. The analytics thing, isn't it? Yeah, I know. But as long as you've got it in, it just sounds a bit impersonal when you first turn on a video. Yeah, but then when you first click on it, it goes, "Oh, that's right to the point. That's what I'm watching. That's what I'm going to do." Get. Yeah. yeah, but like it's just it just always. I don't know. You just seem a bit. Ready? Today we're fitting the. Or we're gonna. Today we're going to remove the Alco spare wheel carrier and fit